I was hesitant to make this video due to this group of people being heavily protected, but I will try and make this video as logical and clean as possible, because it's no joke that health is everything in this life, and without your health, you literally have nothing and you are nothing. Health is more important than time, money, he sleeve, happiness, and damn near everything. Health will trump all of those because you need to have good health for your body to function properly and do what needs to be done to survive. With that said, there are a group of people of the opposite sex that, how can I put this, do not care or prioritize health in any way, shape, or form, and based on how the agenda is being pushed, they will not get in any shape anytime soon, no pun intended. And by now, you must know that I'm talking about the plump women of the world that believe in their hearts of hearts that being big is healthy and normal. Gents, listen and listen well. And you will not see any positive return long term from being too big. And many people allow themselves to reach unimaginable sizes that put their life at risk with every bite of McDonald's and Burger King they take. See, I often say that people think this life is a joke and actions don't have consequences. But when you have a population with most people, both men and women, being elephants, we have to accept that society is done. I'm sorry, gents, but there's no more hope left for society when most of the population is unhealthy and would be annihilated in a zombie apocalypse. Because let's be honest, most people would not be able to outrun a zombie with how unfit and large they are. It's just a fact, and that should tell you that we are nowhere near what healthy society should be. And it's sad because these women are not happy with how they look in the mirror even though they act like they're secure in their weight. Trust me, that's a lie. Many cry themselves to sleep at night, especially if they don't have a man. But I can't feel sorry for these people because they purposefully put themselves in that position whenever they choose to eat fast food rather than cook a proper meal. These people chose to watch themselves get bigger and bigger and bigger month after month without trying to eat less or do any form of exercise. And these people decided to prioritize eating over a healthy lifestyle, and that's the destructive decision that they choose to make, and as a result, they have the consequences to show right on their bodies. Look, I've been overweight many times in my life. Some of them were because I lacked self-discipline and could not control my desire to stuff tasty foods in my mouth. Other times like now, it's intentional so I have enough time to deliver this message and do all the other things that take up a significant amount of my time. Sometimes you have to sacrifice health to get to the next level. And I rarely hear people talk about that, but that's just something that must be done at a specific time in your life and when a certain opportunity presents itself. However, I would never allow myself to weigh 300 or 400 pounds because I know every day I'm at that weight, I'm fighting to keep my body alive. And suppose we factor in the amount of money it costs to be a big person. In that case, it can run you thousands of dollars a year for medication, hospital, food, and funeral expenses when somebody has to throw you in the hole. These are the things that society refuses to talk about because they profit from these people being how they are. Damn near every industry except the fitness industry profit majorly from people who weigh more than a silverback gorilla and that is why you see the pandering and protection of this class of people rather than trying to make these people fit and healthy. It's despicable what these businesses and corporations do to people to turn over a profit when the truth is they don't care. They're only concerned about making their private investors and shareholders happy at the end of each quarter and that's what people, especially women, fail to realize when they are pandering to them. Because the truth is women don't like to change or accept accountability, they try to make everyone around them change instead of putting in the hard work and changing themselves, and as a result you see them spewing the same delusional BS and supporting the agenda that the new world, you know who, and corporations are pushing so they can pander, make that quick buck, and control the masses. Now in terms of dating, men are clapping plus-size women's cheeks, and many of these women are getting more salami than fit women. If you think about it, it makes sense because most women in America are plus-size, so of course, men are rearranging their guts. However, most men don't want to openly date plus-size women out in the open, especially if they're slim, and that's where we have a problem. The fact that these women are still getting attention and salami, why would they make an effort to change if they're being rewarded for it? So men have to chalk up that L because you guys are enabling these women to continue getting bigger and bigger. Especially ninjas, you guys just love yourself a great white shark, don't you? Ninjas are the melanated dudes in the hood, by the way. These guys live by the rule, the bigger, the better with the women they mess with. So much so that the black men in America are just expected to be the cleanup guys and take anything that the top tier guys don't want. So again, can you blame these women when men are rewarding them for putting on more and more weight? And I'm not trying to restrict any man's salami, but goddamn, where do we draw the line and tell these people that for their own health? 
They need to get smaller before we give them any form of attention or salami, because at the end of the day, the truth is plus-size women are putting their lives at risk of ending prematurely, and pandering to them or gratifying why they should be at a large size is not going to be for their long-term benefit. Tap the like button, guys. Our goal for this video is 600 likes, and I know you guys can easily do it, no questions asked. With that said, I want to share with you guys the negative consequences of being too big to show you that it is way more serious than you might think. So if you're a man watching and you're bigger than a moose yourself, you need to think long and hard if you want to stay as you are, or start taking steps to ensure you have a longer and better quality of life. We'll be going over an article by Harvard that lists the consequences of being too big and how it negatively impacts your life and society in general. So let's dive into it. The High Cost of Excess Weight Apart from tobacco, there is perhaps no greater harm to the collective health in the United States than obesity. Worldwide too, obesity's health effects are deep and vast, and they have a real and lasting impact on communities, on nations, and most importantly, on individuals, today and across future generations. In the United States, among adults under the age of 70, obesity is second only to tobacco in the number of deaths it causes each year. As tobacco use continues to decline and obesity rates continue to rise, the number of deaths due to obesity may soon exceed that of tobacco. Like tobacco, obesity causes or is closely linked with a large number of health conditions, including heart disease, stroke, diabetes, high blood pressure, unhealthy cholesterol, asthma, sleep apnea, gallstones, kidney stones, infertility, and as many as 11 types of cancers, including leukemia, breast, and colon cancer. No less real are the social and emotional effects of obesity, including discrimination, lower wages, lower quality of life, and a likely susceptibility to depression. All right, gents, didn't I tell you it has an effect on society and not just on an individual level? The more plus-size people we have, the weaker we become as a society and the less we tend to be independent thinkers. You'll see many big women tend to be rich, successful, mentally strong, healthy, or think for themselves. What we have are lemmings and sheep running around here and accepting every agenda that gets pushed by society and people who can't even think for themselves. Because we aren't healthy, I would even say that mental health correlates with people who have on too much weight. I may be wrong, but I would not be surprised if there was a direct link between mental health issues and being plus-sized. And the fact that we cannot publicly speak out against people eating themselves to death should tell you where we are headed, and it's the complete collapse of society. The research said that being too bait is the second highest cause of deletions per year. You can clearly see the corporations, movements, and society are pushing the acceptance that it's off to get bigger and bigger even though people's lives are at risk. When you stop and break it down further, it's as if they are promoting that it's off for people to eat themselves to an early grave. That's how it comes off because the research is clear that people are losing their lives the bigger they get, and no amount of body positivity will change what the data says. Let's continue. It is a broad swath of harms that has a huge societal effect on the economy, national productivity, and even national defense. The healthcare costs of obesity in the United States were estimated to be as high as $190 billion in 2005, a number that has doubled earlier estimates, and that is expected to rise, along with obesity rates, over the coming decades. This includes money spent directly on medical care and prescription drugs related to obesity. But obesity has other costs associated with it, too, among them, the cost of lost days of work, higher employer insurance premiums, and lower wages and incomes linked to obesity-related illnesses. Countries with lower obesity rates than the United States spend a smaller share of their healthcare dollars on obesity, but the burden is still sizable. Perhaps one of the most surprising consequences of the current obesity epidemic in the United States is its impact on recruitment for the armed services. With data showing that close to 30% of young people in the United States are now too heavy to qualify for military service. I didn't even know it affected the military, but that should be expected since you literally have to be fit to be in the military. So who is going to defend the United States the worse it gets because people aren't getting smaller anytime soon? That's not going to happen. And when you think of it, you will get less motivated people willing to work hard and long hours because they can't manage their weight or have the energy to do it, so even the country's GDP will be affected. We're done guys. Society will not recover from this, mark my word. And five decades from now, I predict that 80% of the United States will be plus size. You heard it here first. Let's finish up. Taken together, it's clear that obesity is a global crisis that already touches everyone in one manner or another. And this realization should be a call to action because there is good news amidst the bad, 
Obesity is preventable. We can reverse the trends that led to the current epidemic by making changes in public policies and practices so that healthy food and activity choices are easy choices for all. Gents, it's fixable, but people don't want to put in the work and be uncomfortable. But in my opinion, let it burn. We are too far gone at this particular point to make any of this better in terms of health, relationships, and society. So all I can say to those who made it to this point in the video is just don't allow yourself to be a land whale. And if you are a land whale, start the process of getting your health under control. Unless you temporarily sacrifice your health to start your business or get your money up, then start eating cleaner food and at least walk every day. There are no excuses if you have the time and you're not working towards a goal that needs all your attention or a job that is time demanding. The time that you're sitting down on prawn hub and beating your meat, you can go for a walk with your dog or cook some chicken and rice. Exercise is important, but diet is everything, so you can't eat like crap and exercise but expect to lose weight. You must clean up your diet first, then start exercising and building a lifestyle around it. And every now and then, you can eat junk food but it should not be something you do regularly. Don't make things complicated. I've been up and down the weight spectrum as need be, so I know it's really easy to lose weight but you have to have the discipline and be obsessed with losing weight. Then when you lose the weight, the hard part will be maintaining it. I still haven't mastered that part yet, so I have nothing to say, and stop fornicating with big girls if you have a problem with them. There are no excuses if you have the time and you're not working I find that hypocritical that you'll sleep with a plus-size woman and then diss them behind their backs. What does that say about you as a man when you were the one who pursued her and wanted to do all sorts of nasty things to her, but you turn around and disrespect her after the fact? That's not cool and I can't respect men who do that. If you sleep with a woman, you can't diss her. End of discussion. Share the video with a man that needs to get his health in order. Our goal remains the same, saving one man per upload. We have Cash App and PayPal in the description box below if you want to donate. And we have some cold hard-hitting videos that we condensed in a season for your viewing pleasure. So click our Season 5 playlist on the screen and start taking your dose of RPs.